for another Monday video. Today's video was um, a highly requested video and it's more of a makeup lesson. It is aimed at beginners but it is suitable for anyone at any level. Anyone could find these kind of videos helpful and it's always handy to pick up some little tips or tricks you mightn't have heard of before. So basically it's just a run through of me applying eyeshadow on all the little tips that I probably take, um, take for granted um, day to day because I do them now without even thinking. But these are just the little things that make life really easy on me when I'm applying eyeshadow and hopefully they'll do the same for you. So first things first, in deciding when to apply your eyeshadow, if it's going to be a really dark or heavy look and you're using eyeshadows that might fall out really easily or even using loose pigments, it might be a good idea to do your eyes first and your foundation afterwards. This saves you like loads of cleanup and stuff like that. Another thing you could do, which I generally do, and this is my favorite way to do it, is to just apply your foundation, but don't set it. Because if you don't set your foundation, you can easily clean something away and then just reapply a little bit of foundation on top. If it is set though, it's more of a rigmarole. You pretty much have to remove everything and then redo it. A third option would be just to pop some um, tissue underneath the eye. So say if you've had makeup on all day and you're going from a day to a night look and you're adding on loads of eyeshadow, this is a good idea to do that so that you don't get loads of fallout down on top of your face. And even what you could do is apply a little bit of Vaseline onto the back of a tissue as long as it's a nice light tissue and it'll hold it in place. And then all you'd have to do is reapply a little bit of concealer underneath the eye where the Vaseline was. Then next, and I think this is pretty important, is to always apply a base or a primer. Primers are very important for anyone with oily lids because oil will cause creasing to your eyeshadow every time, hands down. It can really ruin the eyeshadow. So in that case, you want something that sets. Not all primers are the same. Not all primers actually set. Some of them are just a little bit sticky. A good primer that sets, I think, is something like the MAC Paint Pot. This is a, it's a really an acrylic based cream eyeshadow but it will work as a primer and it sets dry so once that is in place it'll stop the oil coming through and messing up your eyeshadow. Because I have dry lids I can get away without having to use something that sets every time even though I do like to use my paint pots. What I'm just going to use is a plain cream concealer. This is brilliant because it'll even out any discoloration on my lids, any little veins that are shown through and any redness and it also will be a little bit tacky so it'll give something for my eyeshadow to grab onto. And I'm applying this with a brush. You can use anything. You can even use your fingers but because my eyebrows are already done I'm going to use a brush so that I can be precise at applying it there so it doesn't mess up the shape. So really you could apply your eyeshadow using just one brush and it would be a brush like this which is a blending brush. This is just a fluffy brush that will apply your eyeshadow and will also blend it out. But if you want to apply your eyeshadow so that it comes out quite strong you're better off using two brushes. So this is your traditional paddle style eyeshadow brush and then use it along with your blending brush. So this will really pack on any colour that you want to come on strong and this will blend out. Like I said, you can apply with this though, but it won't come on as strong as with a brush like this. Then when applying your eyeshadow, I always think it's a good idea to start with the lightest colour and work your way up. This way you can just give your brush a little clean in between and you don't have to use loads of different brushes because if you go in straight away with your black eyeshadow, you can't really use that brush again for say a white eyeshadow without making it look mucky or dirty. What I like to do is apply my highlight colour first and because we have our tacky base down for our eyeshadow to stick to, that's really good for eyeshadows to really stand out and like stick to the skin. But anywhere where I want to blend the eyeshadow, I don't want it to stick because you can't blend very well over a sticky base. So what I do is get a translucent powder, this is really handy. Or you could just use a cream eyeshadow or a white eyeshadow or whatever you want and I apply this to the brow bone so essentially this is my highlight and anything paler than your own skin will work well as a highlight and it also gives a nice base for my other eyeshadows to blend over but I'm not putting it anywhere on my lower lid so anywhere below the crease because I want my eyeshadows to really stand out and stick well to the skin there. And when applying eyeshadow with this brush, what I tend to do is press it in place with the side of the brush. I'm not just wiping it on, because this way you're really pressing it onto the skin and getting the best colour payoff. So just bounce it along. 
So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using colours from this palette by Zoeva, but just to let you know, you could have used a colour like that, or even that top colour as your highlight. You didn't have to use a powder. I just think powders are handy. So I'm going to apply my first eyeshadow colour, and this is going to be this guy here, which is a very light kind of gold highlight. And I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of my eye. This is a really good trick to brighten up the eye area. And if there is any discoloration shown through where there might be a vein, this will help cover it. Then for my main lid colour, I'm going to use this guy here, which is like a bronzy brown. And if you do have any concealer that has gone to the creases, just blend that away with your finger. And don't worry, once you set that concealer with your eyeshadow, it's not going to crease as long as you don't have very oily lids. So again, I'm going to pick up that with the side of my brush and then press it in place. What I like to do before pressing it in place is tip off excess with my finger from the brush so that I don't have loads of fallout. And then keep bouncing and pressing that in place where you want it on the eyelid. Then with the clean side of my brush, so that's the side I didn't use on the brown, I'm going to pick up some more of the gold and just apply a little bit of that between where the gold was and the brown and that'll just help to blend it together. Then to add a little bit of definition to the crease, which is that indentation above your eyelid, I like to use matte colours here. You can use shimmer colours there if you want, but it kind of defeats the purpose. Shimmer or light colours will bring forward and emphasise, so it's nice to emphasise your eyelid. It'll really emphasise the shape of your eyes. And then by applying a colour here into the crease, it helps to deepen that crease I'm going to create a little bit more definition, but essentially I'm going pushing back that brow bone a little bit. Um, you can see there it does stick out further than the lid. It just helps balance the eye shape. So I'm going to pick up some, and this time I'm using the tip of my brush, not the side. If I was to apply eyeshadow on my lid with this brush, I would use the side, but for blending, it's the tip. Again, tap off any excess, and then apply it into the crease. So you want to make sure you apply it into where that indentation is. You'll see the brush going in and then start doing little circular motions back and forth in your crease. And keep the brush in the crease. You don't lift the brush and move it around because you're blending rather than moving the eyeshadow. You don't want to spread it all over the place. And just little circular motions, always working your way in towards the center of the lid. If you were to go out, chances are you would bring the eyeshadow too far down. You don't want it to go down below this line. So imagine that your lower lash line was extending up. That imaginary line is kind of a stop for the eyeshadow because otherwise it could just drag your eye down. It's up to you how far up you want to go with your eyeshadow. With some more dramatic looks, I would go quite far up, but for today, I'm just gonna go a tiny bit above the crease. So again, just little circular motions, and then you can even just go back and forth, again, just keeping the tip of the brush in that crease because the side of the brush is tapered, so the shorter hairs will splay out and they'll do the blending for you. Another tip when you're blending is it's okay to raise your eyebrows when you are blending. It's kind of like automatic, most of us do it. But when you drop the eyebrows, have a good look and make sure that the eyeshadow is where you want it to be when your eyes are relaxed because that's what you're gonna look like when you're talking to people. So always stop and look at your eyes, you know, after you've done a bit of blending to make sure that the eyeshadow is where you want it to be. Then if you are struggling at all with blending around the edge or you don't think it's as soft as you'd like your eyeshadow to be, get a bit of tissue and clean your eyeshadow blending brush or just get a clean blending brush. But if you only have the one, this will work fine. Then go back into your translucent powder, pick some of this up onto the tip of the brush and use that to blend around the edge. So because we're blending the edge of the eyeshadow this time, don't put it into the crease. We're only going around where the end of that eyeshadow is very, very lightly, and that'll take away any harsh edges. If you want to apply a little bit of eyeshadow underneath your lower lash line, what I would do is clean off your eyeshadow brush, and this time we're just going to use the very tip. We're not going to use the side because we're only covering a very small amount of space. I'm going to go into my matte brown again. You can use shimmer if you want, but if you do have any little lines or creases under the eye, shimmer will show, up, show them up a little bit more. So just on the very, very tip, 
and then as usual just tap away any excess and then with the brush going straight in at a 90 degree angle you go back and forth and this will apply eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line without bringing it down too far. You can clean off your brush again and then just lightly go around that like back and forth along the edge and then make sure that it's not too harsh. Then to finish off the eyeshadow look what I'm going to do is apply some eyeshadow as eyeliner. To do this we do need to introduce a new brush and it's this guy here which is just an angled just an angled brush. It's usually used for eyebrows or eyeliner and I'm going to pick up a dark colour so this guy here which is just a really dark like it's not fully black but it's just a really dark colour. Again tap off any excess and then gently press the flat edge of that brush against your lash line and that's going to start to apply the line. So you'll get the same look of an eyeliner without it actually being eyeliner or eye gel. And if you want to go for a stronger look and make it a little bit more defined you could dampen your brush a little bit before applying it and this will make it look a little bit more like a liquid eyeliner. So I have a little bit of fallout. All I'm going to do there is lightly brush it away with my finger or a brush and then reapply some concealer over the area that I just brushed away. So that's you pretty much done with your eyeshadow. Now you can just apply your mascara and finish off your base and the rest of your makeup. So I hope that helped guys and it might make life a little bit easier for you if you are just starting out with makeup and applying eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff. It'd be really helpful if anyone else could just leave your own tips and tricks below in the comments for other people to see because I think that's always really handy and I love picking up tips as well. There's always stuff out there I haven't heard of. I'm learning every day and I'm always surprised when I come across stuff and I'm like how did I not think of that before? But um, feel free to leave any of your own tips below like I said and thanks a million for watching. So I'm I'm Siobhan for anyone who's new to my channel, uh, or Shiv for short, and I'll just see you then. It's fun, guys.